Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Valérie, and, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Nodiums. Um, I'm very pleased today to, to present uh, an integration we made uh, between uh, Wasabi uh, cloud providers and Nodium. It is a very easy to use solution to store your hot data and cold data inside uh, cloud platforms and still using a platform on site that will provide you NFS SMB capabilities. Then you are storing your files like on the NAS and all the files are stored in a local cache inside the virtual machines and afterwards copy back to uh, cloud providers on a transparent way. For an end user perspective, it's completely transparent, you will see it, okay? Then let's start the demonstration right now. I will start to present Wasabi. Wasabi, and I'm connected here on the console. I will connect with my account. I'm now in. You can see here that I have defined a bucket named NodeMs. Bucket is defined with my owner's um, uh, credentials. Uh, it's assigned to a specific region. And you can as well go inside the settings, seeing that I didn't configure any special uh, settings. I just configure the right uh, access control list to provide the accessibility of the bucket. Okay. When this part is done, you have to go back now inside Nodeum. Inside Nodeum, you are connected in administrators. Okay. And inside storage configuration, inside the cloud uh, configuration, you can see here that I have defined yeah, my Wasabi connectors as a complete generic S3 protocols. I specify the region and my access key and my secret access key. Okay. I can see that I have one bucket available. Okay. If I go to overview, I can see the buckets which is here, Wasabi Nodium. This means that I have a point of connection with, uh, with Wasabi uh, cloud providers inside Nodium. Now I can define here in my cloud pool an active archive uh, pool for Wasabi, that is where you can see the mapping where with the buckets. You can see here this mapping, okay? As it's done, what is important to do, interesting to do, is to define here a network share folders. I name it demo, okay? This network share folder has privilege for my admin users. Then it means that if I have an access to my systems here. And I click on demo and using the right credential, you can see here that the bucket contains one file, license application.mp4. I go back to Nodeums. And I will go in the catalogs, search after these files. What I can see here, I can see yeah, a thumbnails and the files. And we can see that the files is stored on the bucket. Let's go back to the Wasabi file managers. I click on the bucket, demo, and I can see here my files. Here you have the license application.mp4, which is available on the bucket. It's what they show here in the interface that the data is in the bucket. You can see that the data is not on the caching systems of Nodium, meaning that the access uh, of the data can be done. Yes, because you can see here it's available in my network share folders, but it has to be retrieved from an active archive perspective. Okay. Let's test it. I click on the files. You can see here, you open my players and I will Click on play, and you can see here the video that it's now launched. It's very fluid, it's very easy to access, it's very agreed result. I will stop it, 
Let's go back now here on this um, catalogs overview and you can see that now the license application.mp4 is now as well copied in the caching systems of Node.js, meaning that the, for the next time the, the access will be faster. But you can still see the copy on the bucket itself. Then directly here in this demo, you have seen that we are able to read, copy a files, to read the files inside a bucket on an easy way through uh, uh, an SMB uh, protocol. You click on the files, you retrieve it on a local cache on prem, and you have access to the files, and you still have the copy inside the bucket. Let's try to copy something else. I will copy a Another video, copy lp1 underscore video inside this network share folders. Now the file is copy, then I will go inside the catalog, then I can now look after lp1, and I can see that I have my lp1 files which is only stored inside the the caching system and not yet in the bucket. Now we'll show how we have to configure the, the policies to move the content from the cache to the Wasabi buckets. I define. This is configured inside the task overviews. Now we'll create the rules to move the data to, uh, to the Wasabi buckets. Select an active archive and a move from a source, which is my demo network share folders, where I select all the content of the of the folders, meaning all the all the folder itself, and I will select the wasabi pools I defined. I will use a filter. Asos, I can use a filter saying, okay, the file that hasn't been accessed um, after one day, the data is moved. Here I will put it uh, automatic then automatically the files will be moved to the buckets. I will select a period of every five minutes. Yeah. Then I select every five minutes and the, the file every five minutes will be moved to the, to the bucket. I don't put any priority. Then the, the task is defined now. This means that when it will run every five minutes, it will move all the files from the caching systems of Nodems to the buckets, keeping a transparent access uh, on the network share folders. I will run it. I will go inside the overview. We can see that it started now. I can click on it to get some uh, details about the task and what the task will perform. Okay, the task is done. And now, if I go back to, first of all, inside the network share folders, is still, as you can see, the same structures. But now I can search after the content of my cloud. And I will see now my LP1 video, which is now available as well inside the cloud, without any uh, access and any copy inside uh, the caching. I click on the file, it's open the players, and I can now play the video. The video is automatically uh, copied back from the Wasabi cloud to uh, my caching system and retrieved for my uh, desktop client on a transparent way. If I refresh now the bucket, search, yeah, I can see now I have a copy as well on the, uh, the cache of Noderm and not this license application. Then we can see the difference on how we can uh, manage the caching system on the right way and keeping a complete, uh, a complete transparent way to, to store the data to, to Wasabi. If I go back to Wasabi now, yeah, I refresh the bucket and I can see here the files. I have demonstrated how it's easy to, to copy and move files from any type of clients, Mac, Windows, Linux, through an SMB or an NFS uh, protocols 
inside Nodeums that will do the data movement and the data management uh, from uh, non-premise uh, NAS head to uh, a cloud platform such as Wasabi. And if you need uh, very cheap storage and have a local and easy access and a, a platform that will manage the movement, Nodium is the solution for you with Wasabi. Thank you so much and I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.